Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the economic roller coaster. So, can we just talk about just how crazy the economy is right now? It's like a series of unpredictability after another. And trying to navigate through this economic situation is like trying to walk blindfolded. Thankfully, you're not dead, you're just blindfolded. So let's discuss about this. And now to my first point, which is economic roller coaster. So have any of you ever heard of the US trade deficits? Well, lately it has reached 615 billion, which is a lot. Imports has been soaring in numbers, while exports has been tanking and decreasing, which is a bad thing. And, um, it's like a seesaw that nobody knows how to balance properly. The GDP of the US was at 4.9%, right? Well, not anymore, because in just a blink of an eye, it has poof and disappeared. Like, does the US government think that this is some sort of like um, magic trick they're trying to pull here? Because I know I don't like it because it's making the economy very bad. And now to my second point, which is global trade and dependency. So look, I understand that America is trying to diversify, right? Because you want to buy more from some other places instead of just buying from China. But you cannot just cut ties with China, okay? So in 2022, China has accounted for 18% of the economic global exports, which makes them a giant. And there are so many countries in the world, uh, and they took 18% of it, meaning they are literally a huge piece of the cake. You cannot just stop them. Not stop them, but like you cannot just stop buying from them. They're literally everywhere. Like if you go to um, uh, Europe, you go to uh, Western countries, to Asia, to Africa, they all have a large amount of products that write, that writes made in China. They're everywhere. You cannot just cut ties with them. It's just not gonna work out overnight. And now to my third point, which is struggles in economic maze. Now, let's talk about how this crazy economic uh, roller coaster relates to us. For young adults, for an instance, trying to get a job is like trying to catch a mystical beast. Good luck doing that. You see, the unemployment rate um, in the country of America was at 13.8%. And some other countries have it higher, which is insane, 13.8%. It's more than 10%, more than one tenth of the country have uh, people just losing their job. So um, like one person out of 10 people will lose their job. And um, people always tell us to get ready for our future, plan for our future. For what future? You see, the rules keep changing. The rules keep changing. And trying to study hard in the educational world is sometimes not even cutting it anymore. So, yeah. If, at this point, we have to plan for a future. Just, it's going to be much harder than before. And now to my fourth point, which is inflation and everyday struggles. So, every of inflation, this thing is the measurement of percentage on average of how much prices of goods and services increase. And um, in October 2022, it went to, it got to 6.2%. And at the point of time, it got to 9%. Of course, now you all know it's at 3.7% core inflation. But what I want to say is 
Inflation is like that one secret ninja that is stealing our money. It's like uh, when you look away for a second and just like look back, your money is gone. And it's not unintentional. You spend your money intentionally, except you have to spend it and it's still gone. Because everything has become more expensive. Of course, many people, you will have heard that, well, I disagree with you actually. People are doing better now because wages has increased. Well, wages didn't actually increase. It, it, it did, but it didn't because inflation is faster, meaning the prices of things increase faster than your wages, meaning that your wages didn't actually increase. In fact, um, inflation is at a rate that is so fast that it's even faster than wages increase. So it got worse. You did not increase. In fact, you decreased. And um, lately, uh, they've been saying that well, wages has surpassed the uh, uh, inflation. Well, you really think, even if that's the case, it would heal up two years of damage? Inflation has do your wallet damage for the past two years. You think you can just seal it off because you got a higher pay rate now? That it actually um, slightly easing you into inflation? No. It's not gonna help you instantly. That's not how it works. So, yeah, that is also a struggle as well. And for conclusion, uh, this economic roller coaster is very crazy. I mean, wages are increasing, but not increasing. And uh, it feels like America is trying to cut ties with the biggest goods and services producer in the world, which is going to be really, really, really bad. And um, one instance you think economy is doing well, the other instance it's bad. And most of the uh, intel that is telling us is that the future economy is going to be worse, which is horrible. So yeah, the only thing we can do is try and navigate through this period of time because there is only one thing that remains the same and throughout inflation, uh, recession, no matter what, the rich get richer. And I'm not going to say the other half of the quote. Because the only thing we can do is just try to be, try to earn more money. If not, inflation is going to completely overwhelm us. Uh, a high interest rate is going to be completely overwhelming for us as well. So let's improve together. I hope to see you in the next one. I hope you enjoy this video. And bye.